All right, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Drill Dozer. Sorry, I didn't have a video up yesterday. Um, I was working seven, eight to seven on Black Friday, so it was a long day for me, and I really, I could not produce a good video yesterday. I was too doggone tired. Well, uh, not saying this will be any better, but I have more energy than I did yesterday, so let's do this. There's the boss we defeated the last time. Ha ha! You can't do anything to me. Jerk. What lies through here? What dangers await us further inside this temple? I Call me suspicious, but I have a bad feeling about this. Something just doesn't sit right with me. Oh, snap. I guess my suspicion was well founded. Uh, we're not done with monsters yet. Ah, I pressed the drill button. Just not soon enough, I guess. Oh, ugh. Wow, I'm making all sorts of stupid mistakes. Eh, oh well. We mowed them down like common skeletons. Well, that's what they are. Oh, I assume that's, I, I don't know if they're called common skeletons, but they're the most common type of enemy I found. Water. Oh. Huh. So we need a special attachment to go underwater. Okay. I need to keep an eye out for that. Who are you guys? It's a diamond. Oh, they're apparently possessed by the power of the diamond. Who are they? Koyum and Kotake? Well, whatever, it's mid-boss time. I don't think these, these this boss ever was given a name, but it's fairly simple. It's much like the police robot. You just need to wait for it to turn around so you can take care of the one screw it has. Ow. It's supposed to use the drill to deflect bullets, not eat them. There we go, like that, and woohoo! Looks like they got a screw loose. <laughs> Anyways, with that taken care of, we now have the item that we were told to look out for. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll have to. Move through water, eh? Oh, this is kind of fun. It's a little tricky to get the hang of, but it really isn't that bad. Welcome to the underwater segment of the game. What you do is uh, press R to drill forward, press L to drill in reverse, and you can change the direction. So it's really kind of neat. I just thought it was an interesting way to handle underwater uh, movement with a drill dozer. Although Jill must have the lungs of uh, of uh, an Olympic athlete or Olympic diving athlete, what I don't know, she must have the lungs of a something or other because she can breathe underwater forever. No breath meter, nothing. Just breathe underwater. Oh, uh, I was supposed to press L. Oh, sweetness. Now I can get around faster. With second gear. Alright. And much like you suspect, once you go into a higher gear, you start moving, you move at a higher rate of speed. So, that's awesome. Dang it. So it's good down. And you can even drill items like you would in, uh, above water, but that shouldn't, I, I don't even know why I'm saying that, because I've already demonstrated it. You can't get past that purple block, unfortunately. Destroy that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get through here. Ow. Any 
money? Nope, no money. All right. Oh, take care. Take that, fishy. Oh, nothing can stop the power of the almighty drill. Uh, there are some parts where it gets a little tricky to move underwater, kind of like this part right here. You need to get the brakes going at the right time if you want to get this crate full of money. Nope, nope. Down, 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 down. Fort! Fort! Thank you. Uh, almost lost money there. And we'll ignore the fishy for now. Uh, here is this guy. Go up here. Oh, this is a new. Or this is a new. Oh, huh. wonder what's up here. Whatever it is, I hope it's good. This is requiring me to do an awful lot of precision work. And by precision work, I mean it's making me dash underneath dangerous spikes. And over pits that are filled with spikes. Area, monies. I can't say no to money. Oh, time for another underwater transformation. Now here we introduce the first, well, no, no that's a horrible, it's not first. It's it's uh, your first challenging enemy of the underwater, and by challenging I mean it's still you you have to wait to hit it more than anything else. That's the only thing that makes it even challenging is that you have to wait and not get sucked into it. But once you get the pattern down, it's actually kind of easy. Come on, drill faster. That ain't gonna work. Run. Yeah, when he has the electrical fields around him, you don't want to touch him. Oh crap, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Yes, I made it. Ha ha. Whew. Oh snap, those are mines. Nope, I want to go just forward slightly and through here. Woohoo! Well, this area kind of reminds me of the uh, uh, Marble Zone in the Sonic the Hedgehog game. Was, was it Marble Zone 1 or 2? I think it was... Yeah, it was yeah, number 2. Marble Hill Zone. The first stage where you... Well, no, there's a second one that you can drown. Because you had the Chemical Plant Zone, which one had the purple water in it. So, yeah, but... You know, this, this reminds me of the whole Ruins feel from the Marble Zone. Okay, no. I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, if you pop those bubbles, as you saw there, they'll give you a burst of speed in the other direction. Quite handy for getting around quickly, assuming you know where you're going. Ah, uh, we could go up there, but I'll uh, wait. What we're after is down this way. Ah, I didn't mean to drill into that. Aim downwards. Oh, from there I got excited and I thought it was a drill box. Hope. Oh. Instant transport. Or not instant, but ooh, this area. Um, ah, it's not terrible. The the currents, of course, move you in the direction you're supposed to go. You can use your drill to fight it, but only slightly. Yeah, just barely. But even second gear, you're able to make a little bit of headway, which is nice. Oh, 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 ow. Oh. Okay, so they aren't mines, they're more spikes, but they're still annoying. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh. Whew. Yeah, if you can get the drill out fast enough, it'll stop you from taking damage. <laughs> and make sure you're going in reverse. Oh, you need to make sure that's the reverse button you're hitting. All right, destroy these. Let's go down here. And voila. Go up through here. There we go. Oh, sweetness. Now we have perpetual swimming. Yes. Well, not perpetual, but... Oh, would that be perpetual? 
I know a perpetual machine is a machine that once it starts running, it never stops without, and it doesn't, and it does it underneath its own power. So I guess that wouldn't be the case here because we're using a, we're using the drill's power to move us forward. But nah, we can still move. We can still now speed ahead in the water without losing drill power. So that's awesome. Wee. And just as you saw there, you can use it to fight the currents rather, well, not effectively, but it's it definitely requires you to do it. Uh, we'll go for, I'm thinking this is money over here. If it isn't, I'm going to be very upset. Money, money, money. Woo! Money! I love how every single time, no matter the situation, when you get third gear, the music changes to this awesome, super peppy fit track. It's wonderful. Gives me goosebumps. And whoa, 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 whoa. Almost lost it. All right, and awesome money. No health, but meh. Better than sharp stick in the eye. Oh, great, there you go, taking someone, up, someone else's uh, lines. That's not right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Haha, <laughs> made it! Aw, I can't get through that. Dang it! Ow, don't drill the electrified starfish. Just stay away from it, stay away. Okay, now you can pierce its heart. There we go. What lies through here? Oh, our next little underwater, or, well, not next little underwater, but our next current segment. Currents, not current as in, no, currents as in the underwater currents of movement, not the uh, current as in the present events. Yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all knew that, and I'm just being stupid, but bleh, whatever. If I wasn't being stupid, I wasn't, I wouldn't be me. I would not be me. Haha. <laughs> This one's not too hard. It's just more time consuming than anything else. Just make sure that you get yourself lined up correctly before you go forward. Otherwise, you will miss your target. Ow. I was hoping to get to the other part, but I figured it. I'm not sure if that's possible or not, but yeah, it was worth trying. We're, we'll just let that health uh, live for now. Nah. Or not health, money. You can remain uncollected. I'm not going back down there for you. What's up here? This looks like a maze of some sort. Oh, okay. I remember this now. This place is annoying. Ah. That's what happens when you land on the spikes. You're forced to start the room all over again. Here, this, this, we could go after that, but let's leave it alone. I just have a feeling that it might be in our best interest to not touch that. Alright, and now let's not be stupid and just dang it! Do I even need to go this way? I think I do. I remember this area distinctly. Nope, destroy these. Oh, I just screwed up, I think. No, I did not. I There's a chance I can pull this off. Just need to... All right, we're cool. We're cool. Now jump. Um... Oh, okay. I got it now. Health, because they figure we might need it, which... Uh, oh! Oh, that was close. Drop that. Now we can get on here, top of here, drill this for money. Now we can take care of these, this. And please tell me, okay, I needed to do that to get to the other side. Well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But I got money in the process and money is always nice. Yeah, okay, I did need to do that. All right, now I don't feel too bad for wasting time and holy crap, speaking of that, we're almost out of time. Oh, um, 
thank you for watching Let's Play Drill Dozer, everyone. Next time we meet, uh, we will finish up the Kuru Ruins. And yeah. Laters, everyone. <laughs>